Kids would love to play with that thing, wouldn't they? Find the number of action figures that should be reproduced per batch as well as the number of batches to minimize cost. All right, so we have that formula. Oh, hey, we want red. Blood red. Uh, drip, drip. Q equals, what is it? So we need to figure out three things. Uh, first off, F is the fixed cost. What's the fixed cost? $300 times M. M is the number of figures uh, that we need to produce per year. 5,000. Over K, K is the uh, cost of storage for one year, uh, for one unit. It is known that it costs three dollars to store one figure. True, but K is defined as the cost of storing one unit of the product. Durable of doom. What is the square root of two times three hundred times five thousand all over three? So they should make one thousand figures per batch, because the Q is the number in a batch. And then it says how many batches they need to make. Well, how many total figures do we need? And we have a thousand per batch, so how many batches do we need? Five. And they should make five batches. Oh, batches, there it is of doom. A vet needs to order 1,500 units of a heartworm pill for dogs. Three bucks a store, one box per year. Fixed cost, including, as it says there, ordering form, uh, forms, bids, yada yada is 25 bucks. And find the number of units to order each time and how often to order. Okay. Now, <clears throat> Honestly, this is very similar to our previous one, except if you notice in our previous one, we got a very pretty number. We got a thousand. Well, you're not always going to get a nice whole number. You might get decimals. So we have to see what happens when you have a decimal. B-O backslash period now represents box for everyone involved. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go blue. So that means Q would be the square root of 2F capital M over K. What's our F? What's our M and our K? 3. What is the square root of 2 times 25 times 1500 divided by 3? Well, we can't order 0.11 of a box. Companies don't like that too much. So we have two options. Either we order 158 or we order 159. So all of those two we have to figure out gives us the least total cost. So what happens is now this comes into play, this function here. We have to figure out the total cost. Plug in 158, plug in 159, and see which one is the least. Okay, so total cost. So it's FM over Q. What's our F? 25 RM and Q is just Q for right now plus K is that that's three uh, Q is just Q over two if you want to clean up 1500 times 25 feel free to do so you don't have to but we need to do two things we need to try 158 and 159 so in the previous one, we got a whole number, which was great. We did not have to go back to the cost function. In this one, we did not get a whole number, which means we have to go to the cost function. Now this example is on the real small scale, so the difference in cost isn't that drastic. But what do you get for 158? Then there's no need for me to tell you that I uh, got 342.68. Yeah, so we'll just go with yours. Equals, and what did you get for 159? 0.35? So yeah, this is 341 technically. And this is 349. So I guess we're going with 158. Woo! We just saved 80% of a penny. 
Yeah, buddy. So find the number of boxes to order each time. They should order 158 boxes each time. And how do we figure out how many times they should order a year? Very good. So if we did 1,500 divided by 158, this is not a pretty number. It's okay. You get like 9.4, I think. Something close to that. 9.49. So nine. We'll just say 9.5. So they should make an order nine and a half times a year, which sounds weird. You can convert that to weeks, which would probably be a little more um, practical. So if you divided 52, because that's the number of weeks, by 9.5, you get about five. So they should make an order every five weeks.